gentleman from the 19th District, Representative Walsh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, I rise in support of this amendment uh, because really, uh, as the gentleman from the 14th uh, just described his district, uh, the same applies to mine. The, the landlords, by and large, in my district are, are small operators. They're, they're people like you and me. They are taking money they've earned and they're trying to figure out the best place to put the money and how to, how to grow some, some assets for their family, for themselves. And they're, they're doing the thing that is, that is the simplest to them and the most uh, local and direct. And that's oftentimes buying a small house, a fixer-upper, and, and going into a neighborhood that is sometimes a marginal neighborhood and, and fixing it up and making it a, an attractive, uh, safe, clean place to rent. And, and, and this is the, the, the genius of, of the small investor and the local investor in our communities. And, and yes, they are landlords, but they are not uh, real estate investment trusts. They are not publicly traded corporations. They're individuals. And, and they're, they're doing good for the community by, by investing in it and, and cleaning up the uh, neighborhood uh, uh, unit by unit. And you can see this happening in, in some of the small towns in my district, in, in Aberdeen, uh, in Cath Lamont, even in Longview, which is a bigger town. Uh, you know, you're seeing this, this gradual redevelopment, and it, it's, a, it's what we call a green shoot. It's an early indicator of a better economy. And, and my district desperately needs these green shoots. And, and what this underlying bill does is it makes it harder for those those individuals, a young person, a, a, or a married couple, or, a, or a, a couple of older people trying to build some equity, uh, it, it discourages them from becoming landlords, from taking the step to be a, a, an active investor in their community. We, we shouldn't discourage that. And, and what the, the great part of this amendment is, is that it takes that discouragement away and it encourages people in those small towns who, who might take the, take the, take the leap and, and put some money into a fixer-upper and try to turn it around, make it a, a rental property so they can generate some of that additional revenue for themselves. We, we want them to take that leap. We want them to do that good. And, and with the amendment, they can do that. Without it, I'm afraid with, with a more bureaucracy and a more corporate approach to how uh, their industry works, they will be discouraged from buying that fixer-upper and making it a better, better house. So for that reason, to, to encourage the right investment, I ask for a yes vote on this amendment. Thank you.